Because I've spent all my working life in philosophy, people often assume that I'm a great advocate of philosophy, that I think everyone should study it, you know. But actually, if you were to ask me why should I read philosophy, I wouldn't necessarily say you must. I want to know, well, why do you think you should? I think that there are a lot of people, the reason they should study philosophy or read some philosophy is because they are simply bothered by the same questions as philosophers and they can gain some real insight into them by looking at what philosophers have had to say. We all, I think, maybe not all, most of us have these questions about how we should live, what the right thing to do is, how we can know things, what the difference is between just an opinion and so forth. These are issues which come to haunt us. On the other hand, if you have no philosophical bones in your body at all, you have no interest in these things, I'm not sure I could persuade you why you should, except perhaps to say that I suspect that sooner or later these questions will come into the back of your mind in a certain way and that you can put it off for only so long. So it's a kind of be prepared, it's the old scout motto. If you've thought a bit about why things matter, what things are important in life, how you can distinguish between truth and so forth, then the day it comes that these things become problematic, you have some preparation for dealing with what can otherwise be a very, very confusing and bewildering world. It's still confusing and bewildering when you have philosophy, by the way, but maybe not quite as much as if you haven't done any of that philosophy at all.